Hello everybody, Aro Danskia, and welcome back to Miyagete Goran, Yozora no Hoshio. <laughs> Poor bitch, okay. Welcome back to the Sky Full of Stars, guy. So let's continue with the game, come on. Yeah, the last time, as you remember, <laughs> he carried a ride to the Southmost shop and buy. And she found her childhood friends, and we saw Corona too, yeah. She's a very cute and skinny girl, but anyway. And we saw a very, <laughs> very, very fucked up moment with Miharu, right? Yeah. Poor lady, she got scolded by her mother. Okay, let's continue with the game, guys. Come on. Yeah, let's go. All right, Miss Miharu had been dragged away, and I was watching the store. Yeah, if you remember, she was taking some money from the cash register, right? After about 15 minutes, she staggered brokenly back in. <laughs> Okay, sorry, bitch, but come on. I mean, when you receive uh, an allowance or or maybe a salary from this place, even it's your family's business, but anyway, what the fuck? No, it was your own fault. <laughs> no one asked you to steal from the register. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right, but come on. I mean, don't you have a uh, salary from this place? Come on. <laughs> Uh, was that a joke? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that so? You're a very bad comedian, you know? Anyway. <laughs> okay, but that was pretty bad. I mean, that was lame as fuck. <laughs> Poor girl, yeah. I mean, yeah, this girl is so disappointed with her former teacher, right? Yeah. Look at her girl. <laughs> she looks like shit right now. What the fuck? Let's continue, guys. Come on. We forced ourselves to laugh more because we wanted to believe it more than anything else. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that shit, you know? Okay, that's great. Miss Miharu hand me some money. Okay, nice, bitch. Thank you so much. A 15 yen coin. That's it? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> this is bitch. What the fuck? Oh my god. I can't believe it. You're a fucking miserly bitch. Oh man. Huh? No every little bit helps? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you for nothing, bitch. Oh man, what the hell? Ugh. No, that's not... <laughs> it's had all been so sudden, I guess my surprise had shown on my face. <laughs> oh my god, this bitch. This Mikhail throws her hands into her pockets and brought out a handful of small change. Okay. Two 100 yen coins, four tens, and a few fights and ones. Alright. Okay. Thanks, okay, thank you a lot. That's the good thing to do it, girl, okay? That's a donation. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> For Orihime, yeah. Uh, as you remember, she doesn't know anything about the real world, right? <laughs> okay, come on, girl. Yeah, this is a donation. Yeah, this is the real thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay, this girl is getting annoying right now. Miss Mikaro brought out her wallet. Uh, oh! Okay, nice! Alright! Oh, <laughs> okay, okay! Damn, under everyone's intense stares, Miss Mikaro trembling hand took out some paper money. Oh, nice! It has a picture of a guy with wavy hair. A 1000 yen note. Okay, that's nice, girl. Oh my god, but look at her. She's trembling. Yeah, I think she's feeling anger inside, right? <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Okay, you're so generous right now. Okay, that's nice. Everyone raise their voices in thanks. You're really helping us out, Miss Miharu. Yeah, okay, that's pretty generous from you. 
I didn't expect that. Okay, okay, bitch, but please calm the fuck down. Okay, thank you so much for your donation. Okay, at least you did something good this day. Miss Mikhail tried to pet Kotaro, but he gave a plaster back and ran outside. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like we are one step closer now. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Parting with this money had been hard for Miss Miharu, but we wouldn't let her sacrifice be in vain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry about that, girl. Come on, we got some money. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't worry, that bitch will be okay. <laughs> I can always pay her back later. <laughs> okay. Besides, Miss Miharu wasn't the one I was worried about. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, about this. <laughs> you remember, yeah. If you remember, this girl is Komako, right? Oh, man. Ikari was no longer as bright, as cheery as when she first arrived. Mm-hmm, yeah. I think she's thinking about that incident, right? She was shuffling at her back of the group, looking like a starving traveler who'd been wandering the desert for days. <laughs> Do you need some water, girl? It is because oh. oh okay you know something about this shit this boring shit okay she must have been in shock what I could say to her at a time like this mm, yeah oh this girl yeah Corona yeah yeah as, as I told you she's so cute but very skinny uh, but anyway what do you want girl hmm? Corona was running after us. Okay, mm, that's cool, yeah, but I remember in the past, yeah, uh, she couldn't get, uh, she couldn't start gays with us because uh, her mother didn't give her permission, I remember that. I don't know about that. Why? The sister stars club was made out of members from six different high schools, alright? But Corona was a year below us and didn't go to any of those schools yet. Oh yeah, she was one year below Akito, you remember that. Oh. Mmm, okay, but she's in <laughs> she's in a very uh, different school from these girls, right? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, her voice. I mean, her voice sounds uh, like a little kid. Uh, I mean, her voice still sounds like a little kid. Mmm, okay. So, can she join us, Akito? You're going to Daichi? I thought your grades were good enough to get you into Seisen. Mm. Oh, I mean, are you talking about Saya? Yeah, no, remember the last episode. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, she wants to comp uh, to compete with her with this shit. Mm, yeah. She threw a girl in Saya's direction. Yeah, I mean, you're jealous about her, or what the hell? Or are you looking at her as your rival? Huh? Corona? For some reason, Corona always viewed Saya as her rival. Okay, yeah, I was guessing about that. But why? Hmm. I thought about how to answer. Oh, Mikazuki Astronomy Club, Hikari told us about. Okay, Mikazuki, yeah, that's the name of the club that Akito, Hikari, and Saya found in the past, right? But is she talking about Corona? Mm, no, she wasn't. Okay. Mm, yeah, because I remember she couldn't start gazing with us, so. Yeah, and I remember in the first episode, the only kids was stargazing in the past were Akito, Hikari, and Saya, okay? Back then, it was just me, Hikari and Saya, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I waved Saya over so I could introduce her properly. Mm -hmm. This is Saya, our third member. Okay, so, so she doesn't know so far this girl, okay. Oh, her voice so soft. I can't listen to her. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my god. Anyway, she mumbled a quick introduction. Saya was just as nervous around new people as Kotaro. Yeah, she's so shy, you know, but she's so cute. 
I guess she hadn't made much small talk with Konoriko while she was waiting outside the store either. Mm. Saya goes to Seinen High Seinen Car School. Mm, yeah. Mm. She's amazed with that. Urihime continued to gaze at Saya as if she had heard a word I'd said. <laughs> okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, you know that she, the, her eyes look like Arbio, right? Okay, I mean, Akito <laughs> have to tell this thing in the past so that she couldn't make her cry. <laughs> and he said she, her eyes look like Arbio. Yeah, that was a, com uh, a compliment, but oh my gosh, he took her, he took her so bad. Yeah, you remember that. So you went bright red. <laughs> She wasn't used to being compliments on her multicolor eyes. Now she couldn't stop blushing. Mm. There was something in the way Orihime spoke that made it clear her words weren't lies of anti flattery. Mm. Yeah. Orihime looked curiously at Corona. Oh, okay, I thought your mother didn't want you to get into this stargaze shit. Anyway, Corona bit her lip and looked away shyly. We didn't mean to leave you out, it's just we spend a lot of time outdoors at night or early in the morning. Mmm, yeah. Corona's mom was really strict and would never have allowed her to go out so late, yeah, that's right. Maybe if it had been a real club, she might have been alone. Mmm. Okay, that's nice. But what? But she's still. Come on, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's join this. <laughs> Let this girl join this in this club. Yeah, she's right, Akito. I mean, she's alright. Yeah. This guy. I mean, you're so stupid, right? I guess so. You still interested, Corona? Yeah. Oh, come on, girl. Corona turned to face Orihime, her face alight with gratitude as a, as a hey, angry. Oh. <laughs> Busty Angel! <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a compliment or a joke, but what the hell? Busty Angel! <laughs> okay, I don't know how you will to to take this kind of thing, girl. Okay, she took, took her pretty well. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Make sure to get your parents' permission this time. Oh, but I mean, she's uh, she's just a thing. So what the fuck? I mean, this is not some kind of perfect thing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. That bitch or uh, Miharu was pretty generous, you know? Okay. Yeah, but she's, she's angry with us, I think. Yoshioka. I mean, why did the guys from... Uh, yeah, because this is the Moe Nobles version, right? They tra 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 translate this thing. Why did they put this name as Honoka and she pronounced her name as... Hoshioka or something like that? Let's say, let's listen. Yoshioka, yeah. Why? Instead of Honoka. Anyway. Yeah, Kaicho. Honoka opened up her pocket calendar. We better not. We shouldn't force some weird tradition of future generations. Oh my god. Okay. Orihime looked a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. The afternoon show? Oh? Uh, what does the afternoon show? Are you guys going somewhere? Yeah. Oh, the planetarium. Oh my god, that's nice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I rem this name rem remember uh, makes, reminds me this this song from Castlevania 64, yeah, the Planetarium, yeah, yeah. I made a gameplay about that game, you know, yeah, Planetarium, yeah. I I know that kind of place, you know. Okay, that's nice. Planetarium? 
Yeah. Harbor Town? Pearl Harbor? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, sorry. Harbor Town was an outdoor mall on the side of town that faced the coast. Oh. I heard that it has a lot of stylish and expensive stores, but hadn't been there myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? Yeah, come on, you're in the club right now, so come on, girl, let's go. We got some things to take care of Corona, so you may as well tag along with them. Yeah, come on. Okay, nice. As for the three of us, we have to go collect something. Oh, you mean you're gonna get along with Saya and Hikari? Okay, yeah, but we have to talk with Hikari. Yeah, we have to talk to Hikari about this kind of Komako shit. Yeah. She had to explain a lot of uh, things to us. Yeah. Oh. What we used to call it again? Oh yeah, about this year, I remember this. The Ancient One's Evil Eye, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so yeah, start to slack. Oh man. Alright. Yeah, Yoroshiku Yeah, listen. <laughs> that's nice, you know, that voice. Sure. Yeah. Hi, Nori chan senpai. Yeah, Nori chan senpai. <laughs> All right. We saw the four girls off until they caught their bus towards Harbor Town. Okay, bye bye. See you later. With just me, Saya, and Hikari left, and an easy air slid over us. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty awkward, you know. Yeah. I mean, they are together again, but oh my god. He kind of have to explain a lot of things about what the hell she did all this time, yeah. Oh my god. Let's see. He kind of made an effort to break the silence. Or maybe she never even noticed the awkwardness to start with, yeah. Okay, Hikari. Talk. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, you, you need to answer some questions, you know? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay, we finished the episode. All right. Yeah, we are in the present. Mm. Okay, great. Hmm. Uh, are they talking about Miharu? And look at Saya's outfit. It's winter, right? It's pretty cold. Yeah, they're talking about that bitch. But I mean, in this game, we are in the winter season because I remember in If My Heart Had Wings, we are in summer. Yeah, every part of the game, yeah, every scene of the game happens in summer. So here is in winter. Yeah, it is a contrast between these games, right? Yeah. One game is for the summer and this one is for winter. <laughs> okay, that's cool. We here heading towards our old secret observatory. Mm hmm. But look at Saya's ha hat. It looks like some dog's ears, you know? Okay. That night... Oh yeah. The same abandoned station where I was reunited with Hikari again. Yeah. But when we were kids, we made that place our secret base and played there all the time. That's where the ancient one's evil eye was now. Oh! According to Hikari, that's it. Sayas wasn't officially part of the Sis Stars Club, but I invite her all the same. Yeah, because uh, we have to remember the the old times, you know? And Hikari had to explain a lot about what the hell just happened. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck just happened between these guys. I feel it she was shit want to see Hikari again. And besides, it wouldn't feel right going there unless it it was the three of us. Mm-hmm. I guess I want to avoid being along with Hikari too. Ever since I found she's Komako, yeah, I don't know how to act around her. Yeah, that's pretty hour, you know? I plan to meet Hikari after we ask Miss Miharu for a donation. But she just had to turn up early. Mm. 
I look like she regrets it now, though. Mm -hmm, yeah, because she saw her former teacher, yeah, her role model from the past. In a very fucked up situation, yeah. Um, oh my god. She's just an employed bitch right now. Yeah, I feel bad for me, Haru, you know, poor girl. Okay, poor lady. Hmm, so so, but oh my god, I mean she... Now she's pretty weird. Even she wanted to get Akito's dick. Do you, do you know about that, girls? <laughs> Yeah, so so. <laughs> she's the, still the cute girl, you know. But well, now she she's a bit different from the past. But yeah, we could say that. Yeah. I watched Hikari as she and Saya walked ahead of me. Mhm. Mm yeah, she's not the tomboy girl anymore. She's very beautiful and feminine, you know. I just couldn't work out what she was thinking. Mm. Why did she suddenly join the astronomy club? Mm, because of you? I think so. <laughs> Why did she pretend to be some random office worker? Yeah, that is what I was wondering about. But I think something happens between these two. But the game still didn't explain to us what the fuck. And how did she know the person she was messaging? Messages was me. Okay, how did she know the person she was messaging was me? I mean... Uh, in your in your ID or your nickname, there was not your your real name, your real one. Yeah. So Akito didn't use his real name. So how did she know that she was texting Akito? Or maybe as long as uh, she was <laughs> texting him, she knew that she was texting to him, texting him. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Uh, maybe because they share some kind, some kind of uh, some kind of memories or moments of her of their past, you know. Yeah, I could. I think about that. Yeah, I think that happens. I guess the username Akito was it something hard to figure it out. Oh, okay, yeah, then his name is was there. Okay, okay, Akito. Yeah, what is it? She called that Akito. Okay, that's the guy. <laughs> that's. My childhood friend. <laughs> okay, you're so obvious, dude. Well, seeing as I was the only person to respond to that show the photo, I would be weird if she hadn't at least suspected it was me. Yeah, oh my god, okay. You were so obvious, you dude. Okay, okay, I get it. Now that I thought about it, when we first started talking, her message did have some strange question questions. Okay. I guess she's been trying to work out if I was the same Akito she used to know. Hmm. Hold on, does this mean that I had been actually complained about Hikari's right to her face? Hmm. I took out my phone and looked at the message log from yesterday. Oh. This girl really irks me though. Even when we were younger, she always acts without thinking. I'm not really interested in being involved with someone so reckless. He's talking about Hikari, right? Yeah, but when they were kids. <laughs> yeah, and she knows that she was talking about her, right? Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> oh man, you're real so so. So clever, huh? <laughs> Man. Something like that. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, this bitch. <laughs> For the I thought you were some kind of freak, you know? Ah. <sighs> Oh my god, but I think she's a freak, right? Oh man, Kikari. Oh my god, oh my god. Is your childhood friend? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> I mean, if a childhood friend, yeah, a, girl, a childhood girlfriend, yeah, <laughs> send me some kind of uh, nude pics. Oh my god, I know how to act, you know? 
damn it, but yeah. I would beat my dick all the time, <laughs> but what the fuck, okay, but this is so fucked up, guys. I mean, you were my childhood friend, you were my dude. <laughs> yeah, because she was a toy maker, anyway. I did, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he liked that shit, so yeah. Yeah, come on, bitch, I mean, it's some kind of man shit, yeah. Any man could like that shit. Uh, I pick up my pace a little until I was closer to Hikari. I'm still trying to act casual so she could, wouldn't notice. <laughs> mm, but I think you, uh, she, she knows that she, you are acting too weird right now. They are huge, yeah, her tits, yeah, they are so huge. And I think they are bigger than Rihime, yeah. Like really big. Damn it. Yeah, and you're a fucking pervert, you know? Yeah, I'm, yeah, you know, Hikari knows that you you grew up like a fucking <laughs> sicko right now. <laughs> How did Hikari manage to grow so much so far? I don't know what the hell did she, did she eats, but anyway, oh my god, she's so hot right now. Uh, yeah, it's, that's some kind of woman shit, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> somehow they look even bigger in the picture though. <laughs> Was it some kind of trick photography? Mm, I don't know. Maybe uh, you can ask her to uh, to uh, to to give you the full photo. You know, the full photo of her body. Or it's really fixed clothing. Ask her anyway. <laughs> oh my God! You were thinking in, uh, with uh, with your voice. I mean, uh, while talking. Oh my God! Akito, you're so stupid. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, any clothes? I got gotten a little carry away and blurred on my toes. <laughs> oh, this guy. You have to know how to think, you know? <laughs> oh, this girl noticed that shit, right? Let's get going. I'm gonna get... It's gonna get tired. <laughs> I strode ahead of the other two and took the lead. <laughs> the leads. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. We made slow progress. I guess we were still getting used to being a group again after all these years. Hmm, yeah. So, so. No one said a word, but I think we were kind of excited. Yeah, you know, some years passed, so that's normal. The three of, uh, the three of us together again, going to the secret base where we spent so much of our childhood. Yeah. Hmm, we are in the bridge right now. We stopped and stood for a moment. The Hoshino Dam was right in front of us. Yeah. Our old town, well, it doesn't exist anymore, but yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, so much memories, right, girl? It's sad that this thing doesn't exist anymore. Ikari star stared at the expanse of concrete dam up the river, a great expression of her face. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There used to be a bridge downstream. Yeah, I remember that. That was where we always meet up when we went, we got together. It felt special to us. When we crossed that bridge, we left the normal walls behind and entered the lonely wilderness of the mountains. Mm, yeah. I mean, I mean, she was uh, uh, was she in another country or city? I don't know. What the hell had you been oh, after all these years? I wasn't complete until after she moved away. Mm, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because you were in the in the mountains. Yeah, in the secret base. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I remember something. I think the water was growing too fast, so it could destroy the the town that where they were living, right? I remember something like that in the flashback. He can look out across the float valley. Somewhere at the bottom of this reservoir were the remains of the town where we grew up. Yeah, everything is under the water. Oh my god! Come on, let's go. Yeah. 
No use standing around. We continue to walk alongside the dam. Yeah, because she's still here. Mm. Saya's house was near the center of town and wasn't part of the land that go float. Okay, so oh my god. To so to arrive to the school, to a school, yeah, to elementary school, she had to take a a bus or maybe uh, their parents have a car, right? Oh my god. Mm, yeah, you remember yeah, she was living in this town with her grandfather? Yeah, I had to move. Yeah, but, yeah, he moved, but he's looking for a room. You know if you if he can get a room in this part in in the city? I've been living in my grand's dad's house, but that was under <laughs> under all this water now, yeah. I live in one of the new apartment buildings until last year. Then granddad died. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I was guessing that. Don't worry, he lives and look a good life. Yeah, he was an old dude. He was a starborn, cantankerous old man, but towards the end, he said something that made me see him differently. If you had been here, I had, I had had no one to take care of me. Thank you. Hmm. It had come out of nowhere. It had always thought it was I was nothing but trouble to him. But when he told me that, I had brought down into tears. Oh my God! Rest in peace, Akito's grandfather. Ah. We will miss you and we will remember it forever. So, now what are you yeah, he's living in a, uh, well, he's living in some part of the Hoshino Daiichi school, yeah. I live at a school, yeah. <laughs> mm, but I mean, uh, Akito never told you about that in the text in WhatsApp, yeah? They never, I mean, you never tell him, you never told him, told her about where you're living, dude? Oh, what is it? He kind of looked confused as she started to realize that I just said. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm surprised because, uh, so they were talking too, uh, too much. I mean, they were texting too much in the, in the WhatsApp, in WhatsApp, but they never talk about the, uh, work, the, where he was living. After granddad died, I went back to live with some relatives for a while. Okay. But it didn't work out. They were the ones who sent me away to live with granddad in the first place. Oh. So now I work part time with Miss Miharu and sleep in the astronomy club room at my school. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what we were What uh, did you try to talk girl? Mm, yeah. Mm. Saya gave a recent design. That's why I'm in the astronomy club, yeah. I mean, what the fuck just happened? Maybe my school was just way too laid back about security, but I didn't get the feeling I was going to be discovered and, and thrown out anytime soon. Those distance relatives were still my legal guardians. Hmm. Even if they didn't necessarily love me, they still took me in and put a roof over my head. And I was grateful to them, of course. How could I not be? Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh man, that, but that's pretty hard, you know? But I always had this feeling that I was a burden of them. Like every mistake I ever made was something I'd never be able to make up for. Eventually, I couldn't stand staying with them any longer. That feeling had been slowly chipping away at my heart. I've been feeling that way since my parents died and now I felt like I didn't do anything about it. It would eventually drive me crazy. So I decided to cause my family as little trouble as possible. 
I move out and start to earn money planning to someday pay them back for everything. By the time granddad was gone, I already decided to go to Koshino Daichi and that was a bit of a commune from the place. So it just made sense. Mm. Mm -hmm. He carried them look for too sure, but not all the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's looking for a room. I mean, they never talk about this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really surprised. I know vigorously. If you don't get out there and live my own life soon, I'll end up having to marry Miss Miharu. <laughs> oh yeah, remember this? I mean, are you serious? Are you gonna marry that bitch? <laughs> yeah, but oh my god, I mean, you're working in that place, but you have to marry that bitch anyway if you don't move. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this. I said as a throw away line, but the girls only tense up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah, we didn't say anything to this girl too about that. <laughs> this girl, oh my god. Yeah, and I think we, uh, we never talk about that too, with this bitch, right? Yeah, that's crazy, you know, because she's a, a, a lady in her 30s and this guy is in her in her teen years, I think he's in her 17 or 18, I don't know, but what the hell? Oh my god. The store manager seems to like me, and since I have no place to live, she said I might as well join the family. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. But I mean, Akito will have a... An older lady for her. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Mihar is not pretty. It's not that bad. Uh, well, I'm talking about her body, no? Because she has no nice tits, but oh my god. She has a very, very bitchy attitude. Yeah. I can't stand that shit. <laughs> Saya looks angry right now. Yeah, look at her. Yeah. <laughs> In a way, though, this is your fault, Hikari. Oh my god. Okay, now are they going they're going to fight? What? Why? I mean, yeah, why? The whole reason I'm this mess is because you spread some rumor about Miss Optimus being my first crush. Oh, really? But I don't remember that kind of thing in the past. Mm. So maybe they, she said that shit um some point of the of of her the of their past, you know? <laughs> oh my god, this girl. Oh my god, come on. Ah, damn it. They look at me like I must be this mistaken. No, she wasn't. I should know, right? <laughs> damn. The two of them walk ahead. I could tell they didn't believe me. Uh, yeah, but now I remember something in the flashback. Yeah, she said that she... Uh, <laughs> the the teacher, yeah? Miss Otome likes Akito, right? Yeah, I remember that. It's the truth, I'm serious. Okay, let's move on, come on, bitch. Yeah, yeah, come on. Or why do I even try? <laughs> oh, man. We pass the dam and carry out the slope towards where I we held out our meeting yesterday. Yeah, I remember this. Oh man, are you getting tired, Saya? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. But I mean, you, um, it, this place is still called I mean, Winter, or um, because I think you are sweating right now, you have to take off this kind of uh, of jacket. I don't know. She looked a little unsteady on her feet, though. We walked a pretty long way, and now we are on uneven ground. I glanced around for something to support her, but couldn't find anything. Here, hold on. Saya took her hand I held out to her. Oh. Willing arms and clumsily staged up the slope. <sighs> now this bitch. What are you gonna say about this? I can carry you if you want. Oh. 
el chino so happy, ok. <laughs> yeah, this girl likes Akito too, you know. Oh, I love her eyes, you know. <laughs> Look at her eyes. <laughs> uh, I, I think she's so shy because Hikari is here, right? If she wasn't here, oh my god, she will love this shit. You were about to say yes, weren't you? No need to be shy, yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, little girl. So I thumb my arm and blush bright, bright red. A few feet away, he carried watches. Uh, okay, okay, come on. <laughs> A smile came to her lips. It may have been perfectly innocent, but knowing he carried, it probably had some ha hidden meaning. Yeah, you know, she's a bad bitch, so I know what this, what's, what she's thinking right now. What? You're creeping me out here. Yeah. Yeah, because we were together all this time, but you were, you were not. So that's normal, okay? What? <laughs> Confused Saya and I look at each other, then back to Hikari. We are not... Like not together, together. Okay, yeah, I know that mean, but what you mean, Nakito? But come on, yeah, uh, we are virtual friends. Come on, don't think weird things, girl. Okay? But I love her, you know. Yeah, she's so cute. Oh man. <laughs> what was she talking about now? Uh, the I mean, Akito. Have you ever dated this girl in the past? Mmm, okay, now I'm so interested. What the fuck has happened after all these years? Oh my god, this game doesn't explain a lot uh, the, this shit, you know? We didn't break up, we were never going out to begin with. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, this girl loves to make jokes and, and make confusing shit. <laughs> but you know, I love these kind of things, you know? It makes the story pretty fun. Hikari looked to Saya for explanation. <laughs> oh man. Saya seems troubled but didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, then. <laughs> what? Oh, you mean this? It sounds like she got the wrong idea about Saya clinging on to me. Hmm. But we've always done this, right? Yeah. Come on, don't you remember the past girl? <laughs> ah, come on, bitch. He can't look at me and say, yeah, like, he, we got a couple of screws loose. Do you want the other arm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Do you want uh, some piece of Akito? Uh, and this girl is starting to get jealous, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, as you say. Why not? <laughs> yeah, because she looks jailed right now, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh my god, you're pretty obvious, girl. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, this is pretty funny, you know? I love this story. Hikari gave a saturated shada and bounced up the hill full of energy. <laughs> We walk on towards our secret observatory, continuing our conversation. Yeah, you know, now right now we are getting a very nice moment, you know? Yeah, it's like we are we are back our, in our childhood days. That's nice, you know? Okay. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you know, this kind of uh, uh, picture reminds me of the Zelda games, you know? Yeah. After climbing climbing a little further, we are right at a line of trees. There was an animal trail leading through a small forest. Watch your step. Mm. Yeah, careful. Yeah, you know, this reminds me of the Zelda games. I don't know, but reminds me of the Twilight Princess one. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, still holding on to me, Saya took a furtive step forward. Mm, okay, yeah, I don't remember this place in the past, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. The forest floor didn't get much light, so there wasn't a lot of new grass, leaving our old dirt path to look more or less the same as it always had. Yeah, but you know, I remember this place when we were looking for Hikari in, yeah, 
I remember that. Walking along that path, supporting Sayas as I went, I couldn't help but remember that day. Mm -hmm, yeah. The day the three of us had discovered our secret observatory. Okay, we are gonna get a flashback about that. Oh. Alright, great. Hikari had suddenly came up with that idea one afternoon, okay? He had meet, met up at the bridge after school and got on into the mountains just like we were doing now. <laughs> okay, yeah. A flashback from the past. Okay, great. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> her voice is so funny, you know? Yeah, and she's pretty annoying her voice. <laughs> Something like that. Saya, take my hand. Oh. Listen. <laughs> I don't know who, who she heard that story about the meteor for, from, but I didn't sound pretty likely to me. Even if it was true, we'd never find it. We didn't have any idea where to look. Oh, okay, that's cool. Actually, not all meteorites contain magnetic metals. Okay, sorry, oh my god, I don't know anything about meteorites, but anyway. We didn't know that back then. Oh, we were just clueless little kids with all the time in the world. Especially Hikari, she never seems to run out of energy. Yeah, you know, she's pretty cheerful and uh, and very um, and very uh, enthusiastic girl, you know? I'm very... Uh, with a lot of energy. Yeah, she, she reminds me of Agueja from My Heart Had Wins. And I love Agueja, you know? Because I remember in that game, she was my favorite from the from the bunch. Yeah, but the thing I don't like about her is, is she's pretty... Reckless and um, pushy. Yeah, she's a very pushy girl. Oh, man. <laughs> oh my god, you believe in that shit? <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, we both will. Don't be scared, yeah. We were totally serious, and I think Saya could tell. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> Talking chorus from what we said, Saya ran after Hikari, still holding onto, onto my hand. Oh, she remembered that thing. <laughs> You're less hurt? Okay. <laughs> Are you still believing in ghost girls? <laughs> Come on! Was it the darkness of the forest that scared her? I don't know, but what the fuck? Come on, Saya, you're not a little kid anymore. Yeah, that's right! The old station wasn't far beyond the forest. We all had so many special memories of that place. Mm. I wonder what it looked like now. From going there yesterday, I knew the train was still there. But it had been dark and I'd only been able to make out this silhouette. It was probably a mess now. Hmm. When we saw it, would we get the same that same unpleased feeling we got from looking at the dam? Maybe I was scared too. A scared of seeing something that used to mean a lot to me now in ruins. Yeah, so so but I mean I will feel feel I mean I will feel nostalgic, you know? But I don't know about this these three guys. Okay, great. Okay, this place is pretty... Uh, I mean, this way is pretty long. Oh my god. He carried point towards a gap in the trees where the sun was shining. She started jogging toward it. Nothing ever got that girl down. Mm, yeah, she's still the same girl from the... Still the same one from the past, you know? I don't really like that, you know? Yeah. Hey, what up? We match Hikari's pace and follow her out of the forest. Sure enough, there was the abandoned station and its slope occupant. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we are here, girls. But it looks the same to me. It was pretty random and rash. Okay, okay, but I don't know. I, it looks pretty the same to me, but anyway. 
But then again, I hadn't sadly been new when we used to come here. Seeing the light of day, I'm sure we all thought the same thing. Okay, now I see this kind of thing that looks pretty old, you know? Anyway, it's just the same as ever, yeah. It hadn't changed. Yeah, that's right, it hadn't changed! So, what the fuck? There is really something special about this place. It's almost like the river of time just passes by. Mm. Okay, girls, what do you think? What do you say about this? Don't you feel nostalgic right now? Yeah. For a while, we all just stood on the platform and took it all in. Just like the first time. We stood like this when we discovered this place by looking for meteorites. Alright. A station, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, that's right. So we can t take this place for our. Yeah, the. <laughs> so they just left the train here. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. I love this part, you know? Love this song. You can run along the platform. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, look. But for a abandoned train, look, the seats are pretty nice, you know? Oh, and even has fans, you know? Even this thing has fans. Oh my god. There was only one door open and the end of the carriage. Saya and I followed Hikari through that op one open door. Yeah, I, I, and it's pretty weird, you know? For a abandoned train, it looks pretty, pretty clean. Hmm. And you know, it reminds me of the 60 kilometer games. Yeah, uh, I don't know, you know this visual novel, yeah, from uh, from a Russian developers, 60 kilometer. Yeah, I played that game. Yeah, I made a, a blind game about that. If you are interested, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. And everything uh, in th in that story, everything happens in in a train. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, probably because the doors were closed. Mm -hmm. The door at the back leading the, to the second car was also shut. So the interior of that car wasn't very messy at all. Yeah. All those of the alleged meteorite disappeared from our heads in a flash. Oh we forgot about that shit. <laughs> this cut felt like the discovery of the century. <laughs> Alright. Sai and I eagerly agreed to Hikari's suggestion. We felt like no one could have a better secret base than this. But I had a suggestion of my own. No way, how about a secret observatory? Oh. <gasps> yeah, and she liked that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after that we cleaned up the inside of the car and brought in food, furniture and a few pieces of young that we considered treasures. Oh. Okay, but look at this. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, it looks the same, but all these things were here. Okay, this is the thing that they they put in this place, right? Oh my god. I mean, a football pole? <sighs> Honestly, a radio? Uh, okay, some cheats? An sky thing? Oh my god. Oh man, I mean, I'm surprised. So we bring this these things here, yeah. But it was pretty different, you know. But now the I mean the the seats are a bit dirty. Oh man. Mm, so so, but I don't know. I think the seats are looks a bit different from the past, right? Okay, anyway. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as clean, and it had gotten rusty. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. Now it looks pretty dirt, dirty. Yeah. There were also a few more dead, dead leaves and cold webs, cold webs that were used to be. But it had survived, yeah. Our stuff was still here, yeah. Yeah, was, yeah our stuff was still here too. It really hadn't changed as, as much as I thought it would have. Mm hmm, yeah, something like that. 
I stepped outside and took another look at the train car exterior. It was rusty as the paint was peeling in places. The windows were ca caked in dirt but not yet broken. I can't believe it, yeah. Me neither. The station was part of the line run by the railway company he carries that work for. Oh, okay. And who was her dad? Yeah, I, didn't, I never saw her dad in the, in the past, you know? Anyway. But before I even moved here, part of the track has been burned in a landslide. And rather than recover it, they just discontinued the line. Mm-hmm, okay. The train car had been here during the landslide. I guess that's why they left in here to rest. We never found out for sure. Mm. I suppose that it would take a lot of money and effort to move it, but no one would really mind it le being left in a remote place like this. Yeah. And so we were the ones that had found this forgotten train. Then we had made our secret observatory. This train is the Milky Way Railroad Observatory. Yeah, now remember this guy, this name in the in the past. Yeah, in the first episode, this train is the Milky Way Railroad Observatory. Head for the sky. Though we, the three, have conquered the solar system, our journey is not yet over. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, the the ancient ones are uh, open. Okay, he can peek out through the door. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, she wants to listen to that name again. Ah, uh, she's getting annoyed with this, right? The ancient one's evil eye, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, they made this girl to say that shit? Why? Oh, this one. That piece of junk knows at the ancient one's evil eye was enshrined at the back of the car. I was, uh, it was just a thick piece of colored glass, but it's pretty useful for our handmade telescope, right? It had round shape and its surface was covered in concentric cycle circles that spread out like ripples in water. That's what made it look like an eye. But when we were in sixth grade, it was decided that our school was going to be shut down at the end of the year. Mm. They had started demolishing the older school buildings ahead of time. That's where this old decoration came from. Oh, okay. We always thought it was creepy when we were little, so we decided to give a creepy name. The Ancients One Evil Eye. <laughs> when we had tried to make a Dobsonian telescope before, I asked Miss Saotome if we could use this for a telescope or Yeti mirror. Job Dobson had used glass from ship's portholes in the telescope that that were later named after him. Oh. So I thought we could do something similar. <laughs> okay. Plus, it felt like the ancient one's evil eye must have got some kind of amazing power slumbering within it. In the end, though, it didn't work out. Our telescope was never complete. Oh, that's bad. But I mean, is this thing uh, could work for a, for the telescope that they wanna work, they wanna build with Orihime and the others? Maybe it was too ambitious of a project for us while we were still had that jump. And now all we have left was this piece of glass. Mm hmm. I knew we hadn't thrown it away, but I couldn't remember what happened to it. Oh, okay. Oh my god. This old train really was a time capsule. We can carry this all the way home. Let's come back tomorrow with a wheelbarrow or something. Mm, yeah. How did we even manage to move this around before? Mm, yeah, look at this mess. Oh my god. Even they had a trash can in that part. Oh, fuck. The little mystery stayed hanging in the air, but satisfied that the glass was still here, I turned to leave. Yeah, oh my god, I had to rush these things. Yeah. Oh, uh, home? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, because we had to return uh, and arrange this mess, you know? But yeah, I, we had to take that thing, the ancients want evil eye, yeah. 
he kind of looked confused. Uh, it's not like there there is any point in sticking around. Mm, okay, yeah, but I think we have to spend a little time here, right? Oh yeah, you're you're right. <laughs> okay, so what are we gonna do right now, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Get in the orgy. <laughs> okay, sorry, that's very fucked up, guys. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. What are you gonna do here? Let's arrange these things. <laughs> so I watch at me trying to call me back. Sorry, I have to head to work. Oh, okay, but oh my god. I said coldly and left the two girls behind. Okay, okay. Okay, night time. Yeah, we're seeing the present. Thank you, please come again. Okay, yeah, Akito is working. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this gameplay right here, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Alright, wow. <laughs> that voice. That's pretty annoying, okay. Oh my god, okay, uh, let's see if we have something in the gallery, let's see. Mm -hmm. No. No, oh, oh, yeah, this big corona, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, she looks pretty cute, you know? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, that bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, but this we saw this thing in the last uh, in last episode, right? Okay, sorry, fuck. Okay, BGM. Let's see. Mm, I think we had nothing, right? Anyway. Oh my god, I love this episode. You know, this was pretty interesting. Mm, yeah, we remember our childhood, and yeah, I'm got a lot of nostalgia here, right? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. So like, give it a comment and subscribe and see you the next one and let's see what we got after leaving war. Stay tuned!